Now today's video is all about the impact of us caring too much about what other people think of our lives, about what they think of our actions, what we're doing, how we operate, what we say, because the impact is massive and so much so that it can completely change where you want your life to be, how you want your life to be. And in fact, over time, this can put you so far off course that you never get to that final destination, that final version of you who's happy, healthy, in flow, authentic, and all of that good stuff. So if you've been worrying too much about what other people think, I am going to help you with some practical tips to help you go from where you are to where you want to be. Hi, my name's Helen. If we haven't hung out before, I am the balance coach and I help modern busy women just like you find their perfect balance, one with energy, hope and joy. I can't wait to help you grab yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, find yourself a cozy corner and let's dive in. Now I know what you're thinking. You care deep down about what other people think of you. You want your mum to think you're doing a good job or your neighbour to think that you're on top of the housework or you want your boss to think you can juggle it all. And I totally, totally get that. But the impact can be massive. The impact to saying yes to others and no to yourself and not living life with authenticity can create a life, one that you don't really like, one that you don't want to be part of, one that isn't where you should absolutely be. So today's video is going to unpack that impact. It's going to recognise that sometimes we have to be different to others. We have to stand up for what we believe in and make changes in our lives for us. Because the thing is, when we are constantly worrying about pleasing others, about what other people will think of us, then we are never making the right decisions for us. We're never making a decision with hope and joy and grace, one that's going to make our life feel better and brighter. And ultimately, all of us want the most beautiful, authentic lives. All of us want a life where we wake up and we feel happy and ready to tackle the day. And just have the best day, one with laughter and hope. Now, every day is gonna have some negative stuff. Every day is gonna have some difficult stuff too. But actually, when we focus on the good, the good gets better. It's totally human behavior. When we focus on the negative, negative amplifies and everything feels overwhelming. And my guess is maybe you've been worrying about what others think of you. Maybe your next door neighbor once made a comment about something and now you're forever really aware of yourself. And I get it and I feel it. And you know what? For a long time, that was me too. And it still is. I still worry about what people think about me. But I put these practical tips in place because I know that I'm living the life I should have lived. I'm living the life that I need to live, that I want to live. And part of that is letting go of others' negativity, of worrying what others think of me. Because the more I do that, the more I step into the life I was really destined to have, the more I know that I'm on exactly the right path. You know, social media is everywhere. We can always be gotten to on our mobile phones, on emails. We are living in a really noisy, busy world. And actually, the worry only increases because we see more of other people's worlds than perhaps we ever have before. So if you feel overwhelmed by the noise, by the social media, by all of the celebrity lives that we're viewing, the influencers, all of that stuff, please don't, please don't worry. I'm gonna give you some really practical and impactful tips to help you move forward. When we compartmentalize what other people think and what we think, that's when we can decide what we really want to do. Because there will be people in your life who will probably be very vocal about the decisions you're making, the things that you're doing, and that is fine. But what we need to do is we need to be very sure about where we want to go. And even if we're not sure, just take the first step. So I really want you to connect with what's the impact of me worrying about what other people think. Perhaps you haven't moved house because of a comment your mother-in-law said, or maybe you haven't moved job because once your boss said that you didn't do a, you didn't do an action very well and it's prevented you from having the confidence to do it. Maybe you need to break up with your partner. Now I am not saying you break up with your partner, but maybe you haven't broken up with your partner because you are fearful and worrisome about what others will think of you. Maybe you haven't changed career. You know, the impact is massive. The impact is massive on all of those things. And even if perhaps you're sitting at home thinking, well actually Helen, my worry from others isn't that great. Maybe it's the small things. 
the small things like you want to eat healthier or you want to exercise more or you want to go on a yoga retreat and you're worried what other people will say even maybe you want to get a cleaner or a gardener or someone who helps you around the house maybe you don't want to do your ironing anymore and you want to outsource it but you're so fearful what other people will think now i want you to connect for a moment with the impact of that what's it preventing you from doing what's it holding you back from where has it and like stopped you from stepping into where you really should be, freeing up your time, freeing up your brain power. Really connect with that because when we connect with the impact of this worry of what other people think, we can then start to make some really good decisions. As a wellness coach, as a life coach, I believe in the science of change, but I also believe in the action of change. So today I'm gonna to share with you those three tips to help you move forward. So step number one is about focusing on your why. Now your why is why you wanna change, what's the impact? And so if you're in the business world, you would have heard about your why a lot. It's something that business owners talk about. Why do you wanna do this? Why do you wanna create a business? What's the impact you wanna make? All of that good stuff. But if you're looking at this in your personal life, maybe you wanna change a job. And the why is because you end up working a lot of overtime, it prevents you from seeing your family, um, maybe it's a big, you know, long commute when we can commute, all of those things. And your why is all around the why you want to change. So what's really important is when we're looking to change and we're looking to move away from not worrying about what other people think about us, I want you to really connect with the change you want to make and why you want to make that. Step two is about being open and honest with both yourself and with others. Now, when we start to make changes in our lives, there are gonna be people in your life who are really supportive, high-fiving you all the way, helping you make it happen, and there will probably be people who don't want you to change, who want you to stay where you are, who want you to stay in a job that you don't love, stay in a house you don't love, all of those things, because they are fearful about what that change means for them as well as for you. And we all know that there are always gonna be some people that dampen our lights, that create more worry than they do hope and joy in our lives. And I totally get it and I really understand it. I have changed career quite a few times and there has been many people in my inner circle of family and friends who just don't get it. And I moved away from those people who were more negative about the decisions I was making. So what I want you to think about is I want you to think how open and honest do I need to be with these decisions? Perhaps you need a conversation with your mum to explain how unhappy you are and what the impact would be if you changed job or moved house, went on a diet, whatever it is that you want to do. Because ultimately, the more open and honest we are with people, the easier it is to navigate change. But I also want to say this, and I want to stress this quite deeply. The likelihood is you worry about the things that people don't even think about. So maybe you're worrying about what your mother-in-law will say, or your sister-in-law, or even your sister, or a family member. And the reality is, they probably aren't even thinking about you, what's going on in your life, and the differences that you wanna make. You project this worry onto what they potentially would think. And I wonder, if you're brave enough, what would a conversation with them look like? If you were to say to your mother-in-law, do you know what, I am gonna change my job because it doesn't really fit around the kids and the location isn't great and I've been finding the hours too much and I wanna find something that enables me to pick up the kids at the end of the day or enables me to travel less or enables me to not feel so stressed about all my world. What would actually be her reaction? You may think her reaction would be, you know, quite irate, quite frustrated, maybe even angry, but maybe she's seen you struggling Maybe she sees that you are full of worry, that you're trying to do it all, that you're doing too much, and the impact on you and your family has been massive. And so what I'd love you to do is I'd love you to think about how open and honest can you be, both with yourself and with others. If you've liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Each and every week I produce a new video to help you find more balance. Step three is about really knowing and owning your worth because you are really, really important in this world. Only you have your superpowers. Only you are able to do the things that you do. So I want you to know that your worth is really important. I want you to understand it. I want you to feel it. I want you to connect with it. Because when you know your worth, 
when your mother-in-law or your sister or your aunt or maybe even your partner is saying you shouldn't do this this isn't right for us you can stand your ground and you can show them that the decisions you're making are the right ones for you so my final thought just before i leave you is that Firstly, to remember that other people definitely are not thinking about you in the way that you think they're thinking about you. But also, I want you to remember it is impossible to please everyone. But the person you should be pleasing over everyone is yourself. The person that you should be happy to be in the company of is you. And if you are not in that place, and I send you love if you're not, everything is possible for you. But sort of one of the first steps is allowing yourself to be free from the worry of others, allowing yourself to let go of some of the things that you think other people think, because as we've said, they probably don't think it at all anyway. So I hope you have taken a lot from our time together. I would love it if you would pop in the comments your biggest light bulb, that moment where you think, oh my gosh, I wish I'd heard this before. I wish that someone had told me this before because I would have been able to live a more authentic life, one filled with joy and hope, and that was far more me.